Have you ever wondered why rockets can't take off and land like airplanes? Let's dive into the science behind it. When an airplane takes off, it uses the lift generated by its wings and the thrust produced by its engines and relying on its aerodynamic design to ascend and become airborne. But rockets play by a different set of rules. The rockets operate in two distinct environments, the Earth's atmosphere and the vacuum of the space. In the Earth's atmosphere, they face air resistance just like airplanes. But once they leave the atmosphere, there's no air to generate lift. That's why rockets carry their own oxidizer to burn fuel and produce thrust. Rocket is designed to go straight up piercing through the thick layers of the atmosphere quickly. So, the vertical launch of the rocket is to minimize the time spent fighting air resistance and gravity. Now for landing, airplanes rely on long runway and aerodynamic to glide back to Earth smoothly. Rockets on the other hand need to execute a controlled descent, often using engines to slow down and land vertically given its huge mass size and to be able to adapt to different environment. Just imagine if the rocket was to land like a plane, it would need a massive runway in space, Earth, Moon and Mars which we don't have. And as the rockets are massive, the energy required to slow it down while gliding through a thin atmosphere on Moon or Mars will be a huge challenge. So vertical descent is the best option for rocket to land on Earth, the Moon and Mars. While airplanes and rockets might seem similar from afar, they operate under vastly different principles. Rockets are the daredevils of the sky, breaking free from Earth's grip and venturing into the cosmos. And when they return, it's nothing short of a technological marvel. Next time you watch a rocket launch or landing, remember the incredible science and engineering that makes it possible. It's a testament to human ingenuity and our relentless pursuit of the stars. Thanks for watching and stay curious.